time in my room than in hers, so I think that justifies that she's basically my roommate. Um, and uh, if any of you have met Marie Claire, which I'm assuming most of you have because you're in the room, but I know there's some people that have not, you'll know that she'll introduce herself and she'll say, hey, I'm Marie Claire, and then you'll say, like, your name, and then she'll go, what's your passion? How many of you have been asked that in the room? All right. There we go. Um, so I think that is mine. it's hot. Um, I think that's so, so it's like, dang it. Um, I think that's so awesome and impactful, and she has really impacted the community just through that one question that she's asked, because I know, um, for me, like, I knew what I was passionate about, but there's a lot of people who were like, I don't really know, like, I, I don't know, let me think about it, and I probably am safe to say that tonight there's some of you sitting in the room that have thought about your passion and what makes you come alive because of her asking you that. Um, and that's just one simple way that she's impacted our community, but she's also one of the most loving and kind-hearted and free-spirited people I've ever met in my life. She is crazy, but also the same amount of calm that you need. Um, and her love for the Lord is incredible, but also her love for people. Um, and I love that her response to when you ask her what her passion is, she'll tell you two things. She'll tell you her first passion is Jesus and God and pursuing him. And then she'll tell you that her other passion is people and knowing who they are intimately. Um, but I think also one of the most incredible things that she has is she has a passion for music. And that's why we're all here tonight is not to just listen to her and um, hear how talented she is, but to um, watch her um, do what she's passionate about um, because she's inspired so many of us. I know me personally. Um, to pursue what I'm passionate about. So tonight, everything that you give, like every little dollar helps send her to pursue, to pursue her, her dream and to make her passion a reality. And um, I know that all of you have kind hearts, but just keep that in mind tonight that um, one day in the near future, when all of her music is dropping on all these platforms and she has all these incredibly much larger concerts, you'll think to yourself, wow, like I've played a small role in, in making that come to life. Um, and that's the power that you have tonight. Um, so don't think like, oh, it's a dollar. Like that dollar matters. Um, so every bit that you give tonight um, blesses her. And um, we just want to see her passion um, come to life. And she's pursuing that fully and it's beautiful to watch. And so without further ado, we're going to learn and declare to come sing and share her passion with us tonight.
Hello. It's unshakable. Now 
take me to your mother's house and play that song I can't quite get out and do Feel that fire, never let it go. The one I feel when you come close. Oh, feel that fire, never let it go. The one I feel when you come close. The one
the one who sees Will I see you're going to fail before you even begin. I just had all this fear. Um, and long story short, as short as I can make it because I'm bad at paraphrasing, um, over the summer, just more and more realizing, like, man, what is it that I truly love? Like, I love performing downtown at Buffington's and singing songs and hearing people sing these songs. You know what I mean? Like, that is what I love. I mean, the, the feeling that, it's not just a feeling, but, it's really crazy when you're doing something and you have the thought, man, I think I found it. Like, 
I can do this for the rest of my life. You know, that's just something that is a gift. And I've always loved singing. I've always loved writing. And um, over the summer, I just realized and thought more about it. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? I mean, I'm a music therapy major. I'm like breaking my neck trying to do that. It's not what I'm passionate about. And what's stopping me? You know, like, but in my mind, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I can't just transfer. I'm a junior. Like, I can't just do that. And I didn't even know about Belmont, really. So then I just started praying about it more because um, I follow Jesus. And that's where I get, you know, that's who I ask about wisdom and direction in my life. And so I just started praying more and I was like, God, just show me what I'm supposed to do because I don't know. And um, more and more, like, God was just like, look up Belmont University. Like, just look it up and look up the majors. I'm like, okay, like, where even is Belmont? And it was Nashville, Tennessee, and I was like, okay. So I looked it up, and there's a songwriting major, and my heart just started, like, pounding. But the first thought I had was, wait, tuition's like $30,000. I don't have money. I, like, no. And God was like, with me, all things are possible. So why are you already saying no, you know? So then I was like, okay. And I came back to school, and long story short, two days before classes, dropped my major. I'm like a junior, and the counselors are like, uh, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't think I'm supposed to do this anymore. Um, I called Belmont, and I think I might be going over there. So I had nothing, I had no idea, like, where is the school, what do I do, where do I apply, all this stuff. And basically, it's just been this crazy journey of, God's faithfulness and um, me trying to obey, even though I don't want to leave this community. I'm super afraid of the unknown. I mean, I have nothing. I, I had no idea how am I going to get there? Where am I going to live? How am I going to pay for this? Like, can I do this? Um, and then I got accepted into the school, and then I got accepted into the songwriting program there, and things just started falling into place. And about two weeks ago, or maybe even a week ago, I was like. Okay, I think I'm going. So, yeah, that was a really, I don't know, bad way to put that maybe, but um, it's been a journey of faith, and it's been growing my faith, because I still, I don't know what I'm really getting myself into and how I'm going to get there or anything, but I do know that I'm sitting here right now staring into a million eyes <laughs> that love me, thank you, um, that I can't, you're the reason I'm even going. Because I couldn't have ever felt confident enough about my ability, the way you've supported me, um, the way you're supporting me right now. Like, that's the reason I feel even able to do this and go and step into this place where I don't really know what's about to happen. Um, and I'm trusting, so keep me in your prayers. Um, thank you. Thank you so much that you're sitting here because this is literally paying my tuition. That's why we're doing this. <laughs> Not only why, but this is a big part. And um, yeah, so just know that you have just, whether it's a dollar or just showing up, I don't know, you have impacted my life. You've impacted the lives of many other people. So thank you. Thank you so much. This is bigger than me. It's bigger than you. I mean, it's just, I don't really know. So that was kind of my story. I don't really know. Um, but thank you. And in a second, Christy Helms is going to come up and sing a song with me.
rap off, right? <laughs> Just a little uh, suspense in it. Yeah, when you can make eye contact. <laughs>
In the morning 
long as she's going to sing for us. But before you leave, make sure you grab some stew, take it home to your roommates, um, and some t-shirts. And then we also have some CDs, and they're amazing. Jam in your car. Yeah, her words are beautiful and mean a lot, and so you'll want to listen to them after this night. I promise you. Um, that's it. Thanks for coming. Hang around. Make some friends.
set a goal into the